ladies and gentlemen, Texas put up razor wire to prevent illegals from entering. And the Supreme Court just ordered the razor wire be removed. So let's get into it. A closely divided Supreme Court on Monday allowed Border Patrol agents to cut through or move razor wire Texas installed on the U.S.-Mexico border as part of an effort by the state to prevent illegal border crossings. So who challenged it? The Biden administration. So the court ruled in a five to four uh, judgment granted an emergency request filed by the Biden administration, which had argued that Texas was preventing agents from carrying out their duties. So Justice Clarence Thomas, Justice Samuel Alito, Justice Neil Gorsuch, and Justice Brett Kavanaugh. They were against it. They were the four that were against it. So the Biden administration says the wire prevents Asians from reaching migrants who have already crossed over the border into the U.S. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, installed the razor wire near the Grand Rio at Eagle Pass as part of the operations to address illegal immigration that has brought the state into conflict with the Biden uh, administration. So Texas sued after Border Patrol agents cut through some of the razor wire claiming the agents uh, had trespassed it and damaged state property. A federal judge ruled for the Biden administration, but the New Orleans base fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals last month reversed the decision, saying agents could not cut or move the wire unless there was a medical emergency. Abbott's immigration enforcement plan, called Operation Lone State, includes busing thousands of migrants to Democratic-led cities and arresting migrants on trespassing charges. The state previously placed buoys in the Rio Grande to prevent crossings, prompting the Biden administration to sue. The barrier currently remains in place while litigation continues. Even while the Biden administration application was pending at the Supreme Court, the standoff between the federal government and Texas intensified. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton uh, rebuff the Biden administration requests that the state back off its takeover of the public park at Eagle Pass. This followed an incident which three people drowned while trying to cross the Rio Grande. The Department of Homeland Security said Border Patrol agents were physically barred from entering the area during the incident. So y'all, it looks like this is going to be a long drawn out fight between Texas and the federal government. And now they're going to be taking down the razor wire. Now they've already been getting through it. Now there'll be a much easier passage from Mexico into Texas without the razor wire being there. So it just looks like Biden is just opening the door even wider for them to come over. Now that the Supreme Court has made this ruling, y'all, you can best believe the entry is going to go tenfold of these people coming through now that they will know and understand they won't have to worry about getting through any razor wire. So we shall see what happens. It just goes to show you, you know, Biden, he's afraid of how the country feels about 
the migrants coming, but I don't think he's upset about that at all. You know, because if he was, he claims he's going to do something about it. We haven't seen anything. We just hear lip service and these people are still coming. And I really believe, y'all, they said 300,000 came in December, breaking a record. Now that that razor wire must come down, I think it's going to go higher than 300,000 coming in a month. Because it's not going to take long for word to get around that the U.S. is taking down the razor wire. It's not going to take long for that to spread among those folks in these caravans. And once it does, I think the numbers are going to continue to go through the roof. And y'all, by the time the election come, there'll be several million that make it through that border. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. Here we go again, you know, and this is the Biden administration fighting Greg Abbott and it has been ongoing, you know, and I know they're trying to sue Greg Abbott over the new measure that he has in place to arrest the migrants when they cross over it to Texas. And Biden has already threatened to put a lawsuit on him over that as well. You know, he doesn't want the migrants to be arrested at all. Once they make it over and the big place they're going to is Eagle Pass, he just wants them to process those people and let them go on their merry way. And many of them are going to be bused to different major cities around the country. That's what he wants. He, you know, the Biden administration is not bothered by the busing. You notice they're not even challenging all the busing that's going on. They're not even challenging it. They could care less because at the end of the day, even if you bust them to a different city, they're still in the U.S. So I guess they don't see that as a big problem. But the razor wire. Well, it will be gone now. Much easier entry into the country. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.